nine right. sources that the 27 books came out of. What yes, were they? Yes, they are, there are basically nine people who contributed to what ended up in our New Testament. They are Matthew, Mark, Luke is responsible for Luke Acts, John, respons uh, responsible for the Gospel and Revelation, the Johannine Epistles. Some people will dispute that, but many people think it's all one person. Uh, you've got uh, Acts that's tied to Luke, so you've got Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, and of course Acts goes with Luke. Then you've got Paul, and then you've got uh, James, you've got the author of Hebrews, as Origen says, only God knows who that is, and then, uh, and then you've got Peter, I think that's it. I think that's the Jude. Name. Jude. Jude. Jude at the end. Okay, so nine people contribute these 27 books. Basically. They were either apostles or the companions of the apostles end of the discussion. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. What else would you contribute to this in terms of how would students know this is correct? They picked out the right stuff. I think you have discussions of the authorship of these books that goes very early on into the second century. We have discussions from Papias, we have discussions from Irenaeus that go beyond that. Ignatius talks about the apostles, Clement does. And those discussions are, are telling us that these books were, were written by these people. And even though they did not yet perceive of the New Testament as Scripture, uh, not, not at that early stage, they are still saying these are the authoritative guys who wrote this stuff. And one of the things for us to wrestle with is uh, today if someone came along and said, you know, there's 66 books in the Bible, but I think I want to add a 67th, and I just wrote this thing, who should I get this published with? And you get some people that are probably should be put in an asylum that are making those kinds of claims every once in a while. But when you get the New Testament documents, it would be that kind of uh, a, a statement as well. How long is it going to take for the church to say what we have today is in addition to our complete Bible, namely the Hebrew Bible. By the second century, they're already viewing that Hebrew text as, as a complete text. And now you've got New Testament documents.